Great. So now every time I'm talking with AI, asking it to summarize things, analyze, give me some news, every time it will be able to access that folder on Google Drive and tell me up-to-date information about the files that I have, even if they are updated. Hey guys, AI Wizard here. I have a bunch of financial related data about Tesla in my Google Drive in this folder here. And I want to use AI to help me to analyze, summarize this data. In this guide, I'm going to help you to connect your cloud AI to Google Drive using FCP so that your cloud desktop will always have a certain knowledge base in the form of Google Drive folder here. First of all, we're going to go to this guide and the link will be in the video description. So we're going to go down here and we'll have to do a bunch of stuff. It's a little bit complicated, so bear with me. We're going to go to this link first. We'll need to set up a Google console project. Here, I'm going to leave everything as default. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to click on create. Once we do that, we want to enable Google Drive API. So we're going to go to the search and type Google Drive API. Once we do that, we just click on the first option and we're going to simply enable it. Next, we would need to configure our authentication. So we're going to go back to our Google console, click on OAuth consent screen, and once we're here, we're just going to click on get started first. Here, we need to choose the app name. So the guide already kind of provides us what exactly we want to put here. So we can just you copy paste this field. So it says app name here. So we're going to copy paste this. Go back, paste it here. Support email can be whatever the email that you are using. We're going to choose internal. We're going to go next. Again, use the email address that you already have. Next, agree, continue, and create. So that might take a moment too. We're going to go back to the guide first and continue with the setup. So now we need to add the scope. So basically we're saying that, okay, we want to be able to access the Google Drive of that account. So now we're going to copy this part, go back to the project here, click on data access, click on add or remove scopes, and here at the bottom, we're going to paste the link that we copied earlier. Okay. Now we're going to click on add to the table and update. So you will be able to see it here at the bottom. If everything is fine, then we're going to click on save. Now, while that's happening, we're going to go back to the guide. And now we need to create auth client ID. As you can see, it already provides us with all the details. So we're going to go back, click on the clients here, click on create client. So now the guide says choose desktop app. So we're just going to do that. Then we have a name. So for the name, we're going to use this part. We're going to copy it and replace here. Now we're going to click on create. This will take a moment too. Now it will already give us some credentials. And again, be careful. This is a secret private information. Do not share it with anyone. All right. So I'm just going to click on download JSON button here. We'll need to use that file later. Okay. So I'm going to close this. I'll go back to the guide, scroll it a bit down. As you can see, it says to download JSON and so on and so forth. Now we need to perform some additional operations. Okay. So first we need to download this entire code repository. So basically we need to download this app, this MCP server to be able to run it. We are going to run this command. Now I need to let you know that you would have to install some tools before you can use this MCP connection. And we already covered that in our previous guide and the link will be in the video's description for that guide. Okay. So you just go through that guide first, if you want to continue with this MCP connection. So I already assume that you have all these tools installed. So I'm just going to continue right now. So I'm going to copy this command now. All right. So copy, and then I'm going to run terminal. So command space terminal. Once I'm in the terminal, I'm simply going to paste this command and click enter. All right. So now I'm going to copy this command, paste it, click enter, and then just follow the commands one by one. So paste it, enter, copy, paste, enter. So all this command might take a moment to run. So we just let it run. Okay. Now 
We're simply going to continue. All right, so I'm going to copy this. Paste, enter. All right, so now we need to move our downloaded JSON file to the credentials folder that we created. So this command essentially creates a folder called credentials. So how are we going to do that? We need to use MV command. So I'm going to go back to my terminal and I'm going to say MV, all right? Then my downloads directory, so basically where I download my file, in my case, it will be users, my username, downloads, and then client, and then our file name. Okay, then we're going to press space and then we need to type the directory, the folder of this MCP server. So in my case, that would be slash users, my username, and then simply G drive MCP server, as you can see here. So in your case, that everything would be the same. The only difference will be your username and probably your JSON file name. So just double check what is the JSON file name. You can go to your file manager and just copy paste the name here, all right? So once you do that, just type it this way, okay? And we need to move it to specifically to the, cred to the credentials. We need to move it specifically to credentials folder, all right? So here, I'm going to type the MCP server name, all right? And after that, that would be credentials, all right? And then I'm going to type slash, and I need to provide a file name, so that would be this. So I'm just going to copy this part, go back to my terminal, and paste it here. So that would be the full command that I'm running. So the only thing that you would need to change would be your username here, your username here, and your JSON file here, the one that you downloaded before, all right? So I'm going to press Enter now. Okay, that should be it. Now I'm going to go back to the guide and simply see what we, else we need to do. All right, it asks us to execute this command. So I'm going to copy it, go back to our terminal, and while we are inside this folder, like you need to make sure that you have this folder, we are navigating to this folder by running CD and the folder name, right? But if you just follow this guide, you'll be already in this step, so it should be fine. So I'm just going to paste this command and press enter. This will open up an authentication screen that you need to authenticate with your Google account that you want your AI to have access to. So in my case, that would be this account. I'm going to blur this out, okay, for privacy reasons. At the end, it will basically tell you that authentication is successful. Please return to the console. So we just close this tab, all right? And after that, we can go back to our terminal and see if everything is fine here. It seems that it's, everything is fine here. Then we just go back to the guide. It, it tells us that credentials are saved here, and indeed it is saved there. Then we can scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. And now we need to configure the actual MCP connection with our cloud, like we usually do, all right? We are going to launch cloud desktop app now. So command space, type cloud, and run the cloud app. Once in cloud application, go to the top here, click on settings, click on developer setting, click on edit configuration. It will sh show us this file, which is basically an MCP configuration for cloud. So now we're going to open it with any text editor that you have. On Mac, that would be text edit. Once we're here, I would assume that you already have a bunch of MCP servers installed. So make sure to track it down. So in my case, I have time installed and we have guide for that too. Here, I'm going to use the closing bracket, which is this part and put a comma here. Once I put a comma, I'm going to press enter. Then I'm going to paste the configuration that I copied earlier. So I'm going to go back to the guide, just in case copy it again. So that would be exactly this part. You need to make sure what is inside opening and closing bracket. You need to copy the entire G drive part. So I'm going to copy this, go back to my text editor, simply paste it, all right? So now I need to put a path to that MCP code that I already copied. So that would be, in my case, that would be slash users slash my username. 
If you follow this guide, the only part that you would need to change is your username. The rest will be the same, all right? So I'm going to copy paste this part again and simply paste it here, all right? So just pay attention, make sure that you don't do any typos here. The only part that you would need to change is your username. And we'll also need to do that here. So I'm going to copy this part again and paste it here. Okay, so everything should be exactly the same except for your username in three places here. Now I'm going to save this file and I'm going to close it and I'm going to relaunch Claude. So I'm going to close Claude first like this and after that I'm going to simply relaunch it. And now once we're here, we can ask Claude to do some operations on our file. So here I'm going to ask it. I have a folder called Tesla Tesla in my Google Drive. I have the latest financial report there. Could you help me to summarize it? So it's a simple prompt and I just want to see whether our connection is working fine. Now it's going to ask for a bunch of permissions. I'm just going to allow for this chat. Great. So now every time I'm talking with AI, asking to summarize things, analyze, give me some news, every time it will be able to access that folder on Google Drive and tell me up-to-date information about the files that I have, even if they're updated. So here, for example, I asked some summary for the financial report that I have and output this beautiful document for me. And now I can even ask some further things. For example, I want this document to be in the CSV format so I can do some more programmatic analysis later. So once I do that, I can just send this prompt and then we'll give it a moment and it will create a CSV for me. It's a very great and nice integrated workflow using AI MCP. You can see here it created a CSV file for me that I can use for further analysis now. You can click on the button here and download it so that you can have it in your file system. And that's great. So every time I have something to do with my Google Drive, AI will be able to access it for me. And even better, with all the MCP integrations that we already covered, we can even supercharge our AI to do a lot of different things. So that's it. One thing I want to mention is that all of this information is being accessed by Claude AI. It's not really private, it's not secure. If you have any confidential information, be careful, especially when it comes to giving access to your Google Drive. If you are interested in a private way of doing everything for your company, for your professional use case, for your financial use case, you can go to our profile here and then click on this link. We'll provide you with all the necessary consultations. We will do all the work for you. You can just come here, click on book free consultation and book a call with us. And that's it. Thank you guys. Bye bye.